Welcome back to the vlog. Come enjoy watching my terror. Okay, this is going to be a really, really random vlog thing. But I just drove by the tennis court and saw people um, playing tennis. And uh, I remembered a thing we came across at my grandma's that I don't know how I didn't end up vlogging it. Because it was ridiculous. There was this tennis racket that was leaned up in the corner of a closet with a bunch of stuff piled on it. To where, like, it went like this. Like, it was... And then, like, it kind of also made it kind of turn like like this so it was literally saddle shaped it was almost exactly the same shape as the saddle and it was like it was so screwed up that i legitimately like was like is this some sort of weird speciality racket that i've never like never heard of or never seen and they're like nope that's just that mangle of a tennis racket because like whoever whichever one of my aunts or uncles or whatever used it was like oh yeah like that's that was mine it's because i mean i I don't know. It kind of, for some reason, it, like, looked familiar, even though. Um, okay, that was interesting. There was a, like, a mid-80s Porsche 911 that had, like, a big logo on the door, like it was being in, like, in something like Cannibal Run or something, but, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, it's, like... I, I legitimately, I was like, I feel like I might have seen a tennis right, like, something for some similar sport that was intentionally curved, and I legitimately had to think about it for a minute, and then I'm like, I'm gonna ask, like, that's how bad it was. Okay, just in case, I'll obviously try to zoom if I see something, but there must be something Porsche going on, um, because I just saw, like, well, what year is it? I'm losing my mind. I think it's a 56, like, the 9, um, like the 965 or whatever that like way old classic one that for some reason I can't remember right now um it was a little bit patinaed needs some work okay there's just one another one I guess I probably should point this way because when they go by the side with me going highway speed and them going highway speed you don't even get a chance to look at them but there was definitely another another one let's see if any more happen I know they do, they do have events, because I'll have Megan, like, put a little interlude here, and if she can remember, but there was somewhere where we were going, like, we've seen people coming through in, like, the Corvette events, we've seen one where there was, like, 30 Corvettes in a row in the driving lane, like, and, like, staying really close to each other, and then we've also seen, um, Like, we've seen something similar, but I think it was only about 10 with Porsche. Okay, there hasn't been anything else interesting, but I should have stayed recording anyway, because there was like a 2000 Durango with the whole front clip and at least the two uh, driver's side doors mismatched from the body, meaning that, like, that's all been replaced. Um... mid-80s RX-7 on a trailer. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, with a vehicle like that, like, at what, like, I mean, what happened to that where it didn't, like, if that much of it's wrecked without bending the frame or messing up any of the, the main shell, but then also, like, who's gonna put that much work and put that many parts into and take that much time to fix something, like, they're nice, like, I liked those Durangos quite a bit, but, like, worth that much effort to save one of them. Uh-oh. Yeah, whatever that one was. That was what I saw a minute ago. The same exact one, except for not. It was like patinaed a little bit. Whatever this group is, they're pretty spread out. I, I, I'll, I don't know. We'll see. I might look it up and then like do like a mini like, oh hey, that's what it was. But I also might not, because I mean this red thing. All I can see is red so far. Nothing interesting. And a cord. Oh, there. Now there's a something, a couple in a group. I mean, I got a little jumpy there with that cord. I was just like, like, eat. Just, 
saw another one. There's something red. That doesn't necessarily mean anything's automatically cool. I think Ferrari, like, the red outsells everything else by, like, a lot, though, so. That's another thing that makes Montana so interesting is, like, the sight lines, like, now, like, right here, I can see, like, way off down on the other side. But, like, it wasn't too far back there. I can't see the other side at all, and then there's, like, spots where it's like there's a little crest and you can't you can barely see it and then it also depends on your hand because this thing sits so damn high this is kind of crazy because like there's that sign that's the one talking about the scenic loop i just mentioned and then the one up here i don't know like i i mean there has been some pretty decent wind but it's like yeah there's there's the other sign. That's the one saying that this is the turn to go to Anaconda Opportunity. It's like, I almost wonder if like people that are so sick of the tourists are like, screw you, you ain't coming to Anaconda to look at our stack, which is what the first one's about, and tore the things down. Because, I mean, I've seen some insane wind not blow even one sign down, and to have one of them just got replaced. So that's another thing that makes me kind of think, like, maybe somebody's sabotaging them. Or maybe the person, people installing them are just not putting the bolts in very tight so it's like it blows over as soon as possible. We are really, really, really sick of out-of-staters. Like, to the point that there's, like... I saw something where someone... Oh, yeah, by the way. We're up to 11.8 now. Um, I saw something where... I think it's a specific town. It's, like, trying to ban tourism. Which, I mean, we bring a lot of money for tourism. And they're not the ones that bother me. I mean, you know, they drive terribly and clog everything up. But, I mean, they don't come here and destroy the real estate market, which... Yeah, like one of the houses we're looking at. It sold in 2016 for 330. It's now being listed at 679. Like, I mean, yeah, like obviously cost of stuff has gone up, but like to nearly double it or wait, that's it. Yeah, so more than double it. Like that's insane. Um, oh, some beer. If you guys could see them, you probably could. Yeah, they were just on the other side of the fence there. Um, but yeah, it's like I don't really remember where that thought was going. I got distracted by the deer, and I think I was on a tangent when I was talking about. Um, oh, yeah, just how sick of out of staters we are. Like, I mean, it's absolutely astronomical. Like, I mean, the vast majority of Montanans, like, like, I mean, when that one, I think I mentioned that when that woman was struggling with her wiper blade, if she would have had a Montana plate, 100% would have helped her get it back on. But it was like, California plate, like, nah, she can struggle. Ain't my problem. Because, I mean, clearly, if she has kids in daycare, she's one of the ones that moved here. Just noticed this. It just clearly a spider got slammed in the door. And so was that. Oh, and so was that. <laughs> Holy crap. They must like that hinge. Cause I don't, nah, maybe that might have been one too, I guess. Oh, and so was that. Holy crap. I wonder if those have just gathered over the years or if, like, if there's actually that many spiders that get in the door. Well, you dropped it out of my range. Zuma, quit biting his face. Nana, just, yeah, roll him over. So this is kind of funny. If it looks like it might go into the field, he starts to like hedge his bets and go kind of in between. Oh, he didn't do it that time. He normally starts to veer off where he's going, like, right over here. Then if it doesn't, he cuts back, because, like, the last one, it was kind of doing that, but it hit one of the crossbars and bounced back into the yard. Maybe that's why. We'll see. We'll try one more time, as long as he brings it back quickly, because he had one that ended up bouncing it back into the yard and one that it bounced out. So let's see. 
Oh. <laughs> of course, when I video him, he stops doing the middle. We had this thing on the end of Zuma's tail. It's like, it's almost like just the way his hair ended up, but she's kind of goofy. Zuma's very jealous. He was laying clear over on the other side of me. Kevin started licking my hand and like crawling on the night. I have not been under the hood of this in quite a while and uh <laughs> uh, I don't know what I expect. <laughs> I was kind of intrigued. Because I was kind of looking. Because I know they drain. Good grief. But I know these things, like they have that drain there. So I was like, where exactly does that actually go when it drains? So I decided to go into investigation mode. Right there. It's kind of interesting. Like, I mean, like a splash clearly came like, I mean, with this side as packed as it is, how the heck? Like, it had to come up through there and went, and then, good grief, good grief. I just realized how fucking goofy this thing kind of looks. It's like, look at how much further. Like, if you double, I mean, obviously, like, it's going down there, but if you doubled that thing's width, it'd still only be to like right here. Which leaves like that much of the quarter panel wouldn't even be covered. It just looks kind of cute and dinky up on top of that big quarter panel. Alright, so I have this boomerang from when I was a kid. Isn't that one Iggy? But I, uh, Nathan brought it out and he's trying to figure it out. You gotta hold it like this, like there's pictures on the back showing you how to do it. So I'm like, my dad's like, does that even work? And I'm like, I don't know. Let's see, let's use this to block the sun. I'm trying to, I've actually got it to come to, like behind me. Get it to come right to you though, that'd be a, you'd have to be a pro. I don't know if I, I uh, probably got it. I learned almost right away. Don't do it like, into the sun unless you're blocking the sun because it ends up coming you end up with it right the sun right in your eyes when you kind of look up but it's kind of funny the first time when i lost it i'm like what the hell and then all of a sudden heard it fall behind me so let's uh try again without the sun well shit <laughs> Well, I've gotten into both neighbor's yards. I guess if that's a good thing. Because it says, like, if you release, like, before 60 degrees, what does it say exactly? Less than 60 degrees, it'll be behind you. More than 60 degrees lines in front of you. But, like, when it's telling you to, like, make sure you get a good flick of the wrist. Like, how do you, like, do that and make sure... You don't like go past 60. Ooh, perfect cloud. All right, one, one more try. Well, behind me again. It's kind of interesting. I highly doubt I'm actually tracking you with the camera, but I guess Megan will find out when she starts editing. And if I am, you fine folks will get to see. Well, now I got the back neighbor, so three for three on the neighbors. Great. Pretty sure they're in about 10 minutes. It's got more use than uh, my entire childhood when I had it for decades. When he grows up, he, he's eight and he might turn nine something. Well, he will. Nathan and his friend uh, made a, a highway. He lost a sock. Well, let's go. Let's go in the house. Okay, oh, it fixed it. I wonder if I got that. Because it was saying 150 from like a couple songs ago. And it was just like the number of how far it was was just going. That happens in the car sometimes too. I don't know if that's like more my phone from the Bluetooth or if it's um, or the uh, Android Auto is slow, but in the car it's not Android Auto, so I don't really know. 
Megan's working on her fear of heights by watching the movie The uh, Fall. If you don't know what that is, they're climbing a 2,000 foot TV tower. Hey. They end up, I know they end up stranded at the top. Mm. How you doing? Oh good, my stomach literally hurts. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Eat your food. And then go eat, bud. Don't give me copyright struck. Okay, can you get copyright struck for a movie? But the thing I find funny though is like, they would go take it down. Like they have to run power to it to have a light for like some planes on it. And uh, like, there's a tunnel around here that has like a one in a trillion chance of collapsing, and they close that because for safety. Like, the chances of that collapsing with somebody in there are zero. Matt, like statistically zero. So I mean, like, you think they'd leave that thing out there? <laughs> For context, picture from the top of the hot plant that's like maybe a hundred. I think it's more like eighty. Freak her out. And the f like. Oh yeah, when I pick her up, and I'm you know. And you're like six something. Get her smartwatch so she can monitor her pulse. Love you, Dad. I love you too, bud. This will be kind of interesting. It's just at the first point where they look, the one girl looked down. I'm only an idiot. <laughs> she tried to snap my arm. I'm gonna end up with a cast. Better than a cold when you were clawing a minute ago. There was a dude in a side by side, driving a side by side on the street, which is already horribly annoying, and I feel like we've brought it up before. But he but had they, ear Yeah, he was wearing on. ear moss. Like, it's like, dude, if the if the road noise from the tires on those that are not meant to be ran on pavement consistently and the engine's too loud, don't drive it on the street. You got a simple pro simple fix there, idiot. Yeah, I, I literally don't understand that at all. Oh, I, I mean, I get it, like, if you, like, an offer, I could see it to, like, run. Like, if we were, like, just running down to Baker's or something or, you know what I mean? Like, little t little places like that. Oh, yeah, then, but then you don't need an ear or stuff. On. No. I, oh, I thought you were talking about the side-by-sides in town. Yeah, like when you're in a little tiny town like that where you're not going to encounter any other traffic or anything, it's like not that big of a deal, but it's like, you see people driving them on the highway, like if... That just sounds dangerous. There's no way... Do those go that fast? Well, I mean like a... Like the K&M, the Turbo K&M uh, Maverick hauls ass. But, yeah, like... Well, and then I had a friend, uh, well, I mean, I guess next co-worker that posted on Snapchat that he got hit by a car in one of them, totally mangled it and tipped it on its side. It's like that kind of proves the point, too. Okay. Um, uh, but the, uh, those things are just like, it's like, yeah, like, you know, like that one place we looked at, like a couple of the places we've looked at where they're kind of like out of town and in like a little dirt area like that well and that's another example is like where those that dirt road like where there's like a trail for like four wheelers and stuff right off of continental that like nathan could like run to his friends that's like two miles away by just riding in that if we were like anywhere near continental you know what i mean like or you know any place where it's like you've got like where rob lives it wouldn't be that big of it like you know if you were gonna like run down to bill's house or whatever in that area you know what i mean yeah like if you're just running down the road yeah, and it's like in your area with like dirt roads and stuff. Especially like if there's like forest service access from it, like um, kind of like over at the Intercontinental where you can go over towards Homestake and stuff. Or like the houses that are on Elk Park, like you can go to forest service all sorts of ways up there. There's not many girls who watch my vlog, but if you're a girl, you get what I mean. I just shaved my legs for the first time since like before winter because there's no point in wasting time when you're wearing pants all the time. Uh, and, and if you're a girl, you know that what I'm talking about, that feeling right after you shave and it feels all, yeah, anyway. I was good. That's really sexist. Like when a man shaves their face, they probably- 
Oh, that's true. When a man shaves his face, he probably feels the same way. Uh, I, I feel like I want to shoot myself after I shave my face. But it just feels all smooth and nice. I need to put lotion on still, but... Well, know. yeah, and that's another thing. Somehow we always end up with everything turning into a giant mess, so it's like... It ends up a combination of why well, waste the time, but like we end up not having time because we screw everything up. Yeah. There's something else that's going to come on here now. Oh, so that's the other thing. So this. Oh, finger, also you could uh, mention that too that you you basically don't grow leg hair. She's like, oh my god, that there's a no rug, true. and she has like forty hairs on her entire leg. If you hadn't done what you did, I would still be shaving. Okay, I'm exaggerating. Well, forty but... hairs plugs up a razor pretty good. No, but like. I don't know why I'd never done it before, let him do it or whatever the hell, but Matt like took his like electric razor and like knocked Here's all the everything. hair down. Yeah, knocked all the hair down before I actually shaved and it made it so much faster. But then also, okay, so like this fingernail, if you can see how like short it is compared to like this one. And then this finger, this what fingernail. The Someone had the doors off the Grand Cherokee. What? Did you not see it cross in front of us like a 2000 Grand Cherokee? Uh-uh. But yeah, and then this fingernail, oh, it's like that, how short it is compared to like that one. I need to take my nail polish off, but I was at work and like where the white part is, like on both those fingers started, like there's a crack or whatever. And then I, from popping pills, like, you know, whatever, um, you should, uh, or banging it on stuff or whatever, they both ended up breaking off. You should clarify that you're talking about popping them out of. Oh, bubble. popping them out of bubble packs. <laughs> popping pills to normal people means, it means taking pills. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Popping them out of bubble packs at work. What are they called bubble packs? I thought they were blister packs. Blister packs, whatever they're called. Blister packs. Um, but yeah, like where the white part is, that's where they both broke. And I thought it was going to hurt. So the first one, I went to one of my CNAs and I was like, can you please rip this off? I'm scared to do it myself. And so she did. And then uh, the second one, I just did it myself because it didn't end up hurting. But... I need to cut and file my fingernails and take my fingernail polish off now, so. Okay, I needed to do that anyway. They're really bad. Good grief. It's that raining was, hard now. I was going to say, that went from quite light. Apparently, I figured out how to turn the rain sensing wipers back on. Apparently. I don't know why I muted the music. I probably didn't need to do that. Up the rain. Matt's excited because he hasn't really played with the truck in the rain. I already drifted once. Yeah, because we got it in late June, so then it was just hot, and then it kind of went straight to snow in the fall. Yeah, because there's not... In Montana, we don't really have rain in the fall. We have rain well, in the sometimes. spring. Good God. I didn't realize how bad this street floods from all those yeah. rain coming down off that hill. It's bad. I don't know if you could see it on the camera, but... Yeah, I don't know. Have we ever had the vlog on during when this is in sport mode? I don't know. This thing shifts, like, it shifts really late in sport mode. I mean, it's not that late now. Yeah, I don't know, if, like, with the rain on the windshield. Look at that. Why's it pulling up so bad? I don't know, that's hill. what I was wondering. Oh my god, another one! I think I was vlogging one day when I was like, oh shit, someone probably died, because they went off right here. Uh -huh. That's kind of crazy how close together those were. Because then somebody's hit this spot. Yeah. What's those people screwing things up here? Yeah, because there was that corner for I a guess while. right down there's where Kevin and Keith almost got killed, but Kevin got his feet, got a deep leg. What? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think I was going to aim back to the guardrail? No! Look at that puddle. <laughs> Yeah, see, it's at 3,500. Nathan's just chilling back there. Hey, the bugs aren't there anymore. Yeah, probably not. Well, I mean, you can see that they're not. Well, we can't see on the where I was looking. Good grief. Yeah, this is insane. It's gonna be the funny thing this is, is going to be like when it flooded in Great Falls. Right oh well, yeah, that's true. This could, this could be like when it flooded in Great Falls. No, that was way, way worse. Yeah, if this keeps up. Was that the same day when it hailed the, the like, golf ball size hail? Mm, I don't remember. I think that was a different. No, golf ball size hail was when I still lived with my mom, I think. 
And the flooding was when I was living with you. Oh, I don't know. Holy crap. Oh, that could be interesting to see how much water is running down in it. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm leaving the vlog on. Yeah, see, that's where wet's more a little bit more fun than snow, because you still have the asphalt there. You're not just on a sheet of ice, so it's like easy to get it back under control. Yeah, get it back once you're done. I kind of want to go to donuts in a parking lot. That's one thing I thought about though. There's not really a good place to do that unless like Walmart's lot was fairly empty at night or something, because like the mall's parking lot's so destroyed it isn't even funny oh and it's not that bad oh it will be up by our house because right here it usually isn't like at our by our house it's like it's a little bit steeper and uh like the gutters will be more screwed up and you the storm drains are plugged up there too take care of all the storm drains at every intersection work properly When that started happening. What? They make garbage Camrys and all wheel drive. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, look right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, I don't know why, but like, right in front of our app, oh, right there, it's going over the sidewalk. Because yeah. this storm drain here plugs really bad. But yeah, like, right here, it always ends up turned into our, like, kind of half turned into our alley here. Yeah, like, look right there, too. Well, it's like it looks coming like it's down coming, there. it's like the two sides, like it kind of looks like it's coming across at the intersection, so it's like both sides coming into the one. Yeah, oh, that storm drain's actually not doing too bad. Well, that one always drains good. We just plop them into it, but our yard had a few days to dry off. Oh, the, that rear view camera is kind of interesting looking in the rain. Can't you really can, tell. Well, because you, you can actually see the rain. Well, I know I'm saying on the camera you can't really. Oh. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.